Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Big Pharma. This is essentially a puzzle game. You are the CEO of a pharmaceutical company and you have to create drugs. Drugs like cough syrup or headache medicine or antidepressants or stuff to treat gout. Whatever you can imagine really. You will do a scenario and each scenario will have a set of objectives and you have to build machines and conveyables like you see in the background there to actually create drugs and make money and complete the level. I've played about two and a half to three hours of the game so far so it is a first impressions but I've played probably a little bit longer than I normally do for um, for a first impressions video anyway and I have to point out this is the beta okay but the, it, unlike a lot of what you would call early access games because this is not early access it is actually a beta it is 90% complete okay there's only a couple of scenarios that are missing and a couple of tweaks to um, be made and such. Obviously there's going to be like bugs to squish and um polish to be added and that sort of thing but basically what you see is what you get in the final game links in the description as always because you can actually buy in and play this now so i'm going to go to a new game and i'm going to show you a scenario there's 25 scenarios in the game so far as i said a couple to, uh, to be added i've done all of the tutorial missions and i've done the uh, challenges of bottom line to the uh, master level so i actually did very very well on that one i'm also halfway through lost my appetite mission as well i've tried it a couple of times but failed but uh, yeah i'm going on that one as you can see there's um, different um, levels so beginner intermediate advanced quick start, crippling debt, and there's a couple more to be added, as I said. So, we're going to do bottom line. Each of them has a set of objectives. This one is just to make some cash, but we won't get there. As I said, this first impression is just to show you what the game's like. So, we need to, um, come, well, we're doing the, the company uh, certification, so we need to name all companies. So, obviously, it's going to be the generic drug company. Alright. Can't type. Generic Drug Company. I was going to call it the Generic Pharmaceutical Company, but I can't spell that, so we'll leave it as the Generic Drug Company. We need to uh, select our CEO, and we've got Leonard there, scientist. We've got uh, Jenny, who's like an explorer. Chan, who's um, some sort of builder with a hard hat there. Sasha, who's a scientist. You get the idea. There's all different types on it. It doesn't really matter what you pick, I don't think. I don't think they have any different statistics or anything like that. And we'll just uh, set our company going. So... I will pause the game for a moment. Um, every scenario is semi-randomly generated, like the world itself is will, will change and such. So we've got different plots here, but this in the center is where we'll be building things. So a quick rundown of the UI. We've got our objectives here. You can see earn a total revenue of one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that a million? Yeah, a million. Um, by um, it is or before the first of January uh, twenty-five, and as you can see, it's the first of Jan fifteen now. So we've got ten years to do that. Basically, not too bad at all. Okay, uh, left hand side is all the buttons to uh, build things, so we've got belts and stuff, and we can place belts and make them, as you can see, it does cost a bit of cash when we do that. Uh, we've got different machines, so evaporator, dissolvers, I'll run through what these do later on. Bit of auxiliary equipment there, makers like pill printers and stuff. If they're greyed out, it basically means that you haven't researched them and you can't build it. Uh, we've got some paint as well, because you can paint the ground. There's one that's missing there, and I believe that's because the ability to paint the walls and put decals on is coming. I don't know what effect that has in the game, if any, but um, yeah, that, that's, that bit's not in yet. On the we have time controls, we have a button for loans, and they, which basically if you run out of cash, so you're going to have to get loans. The actual money I have, so currently 49,900 generic units of currency, and how much profit we're making, which is currently nothing, because we're not doing anything. We've got different buttons as well to shows, oh, well, it actually changes the view, so we're currently on the production tab, we can go to ingredients, and it shows the ingredients we actually can um, can have. So these are the two ones we, we have, so it's wilted, echinod, rock, some sort of rock, and... Um, I summarized Viteritas gem. It's it's some other gem thing. Basically, each item, each of these ingredients has a set of uh, good and bad things, like effects and such. So this one, for example, calms acid reflux. It's currently at level 14, but... The problem is that certain ingredients will do good and bad stuff, as I said, but you need to change its um, strength in order to um, alter its effects. So this one, you can see the calms acid acid reflux, which is good. We could we could sell that, but it needs to be within this green bit to actually be active. You can see it actually says active range is 15 to 19. It's currently on 14, so it's not active. It's not currently. It's currently inactive. However, the induces nausea is active. Which is not good because it's active between 16 and 14. So what we need to do is increase its strength, which reduces. Well, basically, it will remove this off, so it's no longer a, a nauseous rock. Because at the moment, if you if you neck that, if you have that, all it's going to do is make you sick. Which I would, you know, if I was eating rock, I assume that's what would happen. Same for this one as well. We need to reduce this strength in order for it to put it in the uh, removes warts bit. When you mouse over the sections, it also shows you upgrade to something. So this one, uh, upgrade to alleviate stomach ulcers. And it shows you a piece of equipment needed and also the uh, the strength it needs to be. So if we, no if we notch that up, we might be able to get that. But we'll get on that later. There's also different... Um, 
different uh, sort of uh, ingredients here that we can research. We actually have to have a scout. So we'll hire a scout for 5,000. And then we can send them on. That's body response. That is pain medication. We're going to send them over there. So we get basically an explorer goes out and looks around to try and find this... Um, What's it? It's a moon fern. And they're going to explore the forest and find a drug, and then we can make more things. So we've got Cures tab, and that shows us what we currently have. So acid reflux, what we need to upgrade it with, and what it gets to. So there's all different stuff here. As I said, sort of half randomly generated each scenario. We'll move on to the research tab, where we can show the machines we've got, and also the machines that we can get. So I'm going to hire two scientists, and I'm going to assign one to each uh, of these here. So the uh, the ionizer and the agglomer is something or other. That machine there that makes like little pellets and stuff. Basically, the Increase and decrease the strength of things. We can also upgrade our machines, but we don't have any of them points. So you, you basically get these points here, these research upgrade points, when you have idle scientists. Obviously, I've assigned both to uh, research these, which is going to take three months. So we will go back, and I think we will do some uh, drug creation. So what I want to do is I want to click on this, and I want to import some drugs. So we can either do acid reflux, or we can do some... Um, uh, remove warts. I think we will go for... We'll do both. That one's 35, that's 33. So this one is a little bit cheaper. So we're going to do this one. So we're going to put that one there. Okay? So that drug will come through here. So if I put a belt there, what will happen is when we actually press start, it'll bring stuff on. There you go. And there's the drug there. Okay? So you can see it's total cost. It shows you the current profit, which is minus 33 because it takes 33 to bring it on. Obviously, we haven't done any processing. So... Remove warts. We need to get it in this green zone because that's its active range, which is 11 to 16. It's currently 17, so we need to reduce its strength. So if we go to basic, we can see we've got a dissolve, which is decreases its concentration. So we will decrease its concentration by putting that... Um I guess we'll put it there. Okay, this is a machine, and what we'll do, we'll connect the belt up to it, like so. And then... What should happen is that it will go, keep on going. As you can see, the belt's moving along. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. And then it'll go inside, and we'll see. You can see it's reducing its strength, and there you go. That becomes green. It is good. So it is now active. So that now does remove warts. Excellent. So what we're we going to do? Well, we can't just send that out because all that is at the moment is just a just a big lump. So it's not going to do anything. What we need to do is sell it. And to sell it, you need to turn it into something. You need to turn it into like a, an, in, like a some sort of injection or a, uh, a pill or some sort of cream. Now, what remover I would assume would be cream, but uh, no, we're going to make it into a pill because I don't have what remover. So we're going to put them like there. Now, that's a pill printer. Now, the problem with pill printers is that they do take two sort of ticks of the machine to create a pill. So if you actually, ha if you have two, it's probably a better idea because then you can um, make more because, as you can see, the pill printer takes like two ticks of the machines to make one pill. So when you have two, it frees up the production line. So you have to think about what you're building, okay? It's, um... It's, uh, it's sort of, I'm, I'm thinking Factorio right now, but yeah, you, you get the idea, right? And as you can see, my pills are coming to the end, and now it will pop up and say we need to name our product. So it's called the Generic Fungal Waterway. Nice, we like that. The reason, <laughs> one of the things I was surprised about was that if you call if you call your um, company Prism Pharmaceuticals or something, it puts the first uh, word of that. So it'll be Prism Fungal Water at the start. So because I've put Generic Pharmaceutical Company, or sorry, Generic Drug Company, it always says Generic Fungal Water, which just takes all the effort out of me having to re delete everything and call it Generic something or other. So we'll name that, and then what happens is that these will go off the production line. So there you go, and we get a bit of cash. Come on, is it showing up? Come on. There we go. 141. There we go. So we're making 141 each tick. That's not too bad at all. When you click on it, you can see our current profit, which is quite good. We'll click on the company tab, which I haven't shown you. And that shows us we've got one person. We've got um, Expedite Medicine. Uh, that's not bad. There you go. There. They're currently not, they don't have any drugs uh, on the market. But I do. I have a remove what? It's grading C. It's not bad. And it shows you how much is sold. Now, this, uh, the price will go up and down based on uh, if they're selling medicine that's better and our market share and things like that. Oh, look. Look, they've just made their own. It's pretty much the same thing, look. Less. It is It is pretty much the same thing. Mm, right, okay. So, we are now uh, in competition. Proper competition. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy this area here. And I'm going to make something a little bit better. So, what we're going to do, we're going to import this um, wilted rock thing. We'll bring that in. Okay, and then we will... What do we need to do to it? Well, 
In order to make it, in, to go, to put it into the acid reflux sort of strength, we need to increase its strength by one. However, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is increase it by two because then you can see it says alleviate to, uh, upgrade to alleviate stomach ulcer. So I want to make it a stomach ulcer drug, which if you look at our cure, we can see is this one here, okay? So I need to get it to there and that'll sell for a lot more, almost over double look, you see. Obviously, it'll be processing costs and such, but I want to do that. So... In order to do that, it needs to be within uh, 16 to 18 concentration, which currently it's 14. So we need to increase its concentration by at least two. Now, one of the things I set going on my research was a, one of these things. It uh, compresses my drugs into concentrated pellets, increasing their concentration by three. So that's going to be done in a month. So I could start building my production line because I know that instead of having to say use a, an evaporator which increases my concentration by one I can use that other machine to increase it by three and it means I only need one machine okay and then I need to use a uh, an evaporator to level it up so that will do that we'll do that what I'm gonna do is speed up to max speed there you go. And we're still printing with that. I'm actually not making any money at all. Look, I've got my operating cost of minus 33. So it's not too bad, but we are creating things, which is all good. And eventually, our research will be complete. As you can see, three days, two days, one day, done. Come on. There we go. And they're now done. I'm going to leave the scientists there because I want some more research points to cheapen stuff out. But we've also found some drugs. Some new drugs there. Some new ingredients, rather. So it's a wood snake liquid, and that treats diabetes. Uh, not bad, not bad. What I'm going to do is probably hire another scientist and put them over there to try and get what's a, ca a catalyst, okay? So I'm going to put them over there, and I'll explain what a catalyst is later on. So I'm bleeding money now. I need to get this sorted. So we need a belt. Actually, what we'll do first, we will put a one of these concentratory things out. We'll put it like that, and we'll join the belt up like that, and then that'll come out, and that'll be a little bit stronger. Now, once it's stronger, I need to then put an evaporator into it, so I'll put it, I think, uh, like that. There we are. And then that, what that'll do, when this, when this drug comes out, you can see it's now in the CAMS acid reflux area, but if I pause it, you can see it's pre uh, prerequisite to upgrading to alleviate stomach ulcers is ticked. So it's within 16 to 18 concentration, because it's, as you can see, 17. So when it goes through here, it will, or should, should convert itself over to the next drug. So this is an unknown quantity now, so it's going to go in, and there you go. So it's now in the area of um, alleviate stomach ulcers, okay? Not bad at all. So, we can also upgrade it to Appetite Suppressant, but we don't have the machinery. So, we need to get it in this green area, the active range, which is 18 to 12. Currently, sorry, it's 8 to 12, but it's currently 18. So, I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At least drop it by at least by 6 at least. We'll use our Ionizer, which decreases the concentration by 6. And we'll put one... I guess we'll put one... Where do you want to output this thing? We could output it there... So, in that case, we want to probably put the machine there and then there, okay? And then we'll connect these up, one to there, and then one to there, and then it'll come out here. And then we need to turn it into a pill, I would say. Do you want to pill it up? Uh, we could pill it up, like, ah, see the problem? I'm going to actually get rid of these because I want to sort of move it around a little bit to... Don't know if you can join them up like that. Never never tried it myself, but maybe if we put it like that, that'll help us out a little bit. Join that up there, and then we'll have it pop out, and we'll have a pill printer, which will go there and there. Get rid of that one, and connect that up there. There, all the machines are starting to work now, and there we go. So that should be alleviates. Yes, so it's coming out of there. You can see it's been reduced, and now it is active. It, it alleviates stom stomach ulcers. Sadly, it does cause nausea. Now you can remove some of these, but that, as you can see, says cannot remove. So we need to we need to uh, we need to name this thing. It's generic vomit away, and we'll name that. There we go. So we are now selling that drug. I am now on minus. However, I'm actually losing money, but hopefully this will sell quite well. So there's a little bit of cash. There's a little bit of cash, and yeah, we're on a little bit of, well, we've got a little bit of um, positive here. Uh, not a lot, though. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to go over to my research tab, and as you can see, I've got some research points. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, up, I'm going to upgrade our pill printer, because it increases the pill bonus price. So there we go, we'll upgrade that, and we'll get a little bit more money. Uh, we could also decrease... The cost of some of these. It costs one point for the first level, two points for the next level, four for the next, eight for the next, and so on. So, what do I want to do? Do I upgrade these? 
how many dissolvers do we have? Where's, where's the most efficient thing going to be? I guess, see, these cost like 35 a piece to do that one. And we've got one dissolver there. We've got one evaporator. But we've got two of these things. I think it's just upgrade pill printers. I think it's just wait and upgrade our pill printer, uh, which is almost there. Let's just go back to our scientists. They're on 47% to get this uh, spinny fig, um, which is a catalyst. Now, what catalysts allow you to do? Certain items require you to have a catalyst, uh, which isn't shown on here. But basically, you know, you have we, uh, well, I was saying earlier that we have the levels here. So this is the concentration. Uh, and it says you need to be within this concentration to upgrade. Now, some of them will say you need to be in this concentration, and they require this catalyst symbol. Now, there's different catalysts, and I think we've only got the one. That is like the yeah, two dots with lines. That's two dots with lines. Uh, no, we can't see the other ones. These are desert exploration, but we currently haven't got that unlocked. But obviously, you might want to upgrade that later to get um, better better drugs and better ingredients and such. But you can see the idea of what we're going for here. We're currently making eight a tick, which is not very good, but hopefully... My research will be done. There you go. It's two. So I'm going to upgrade our pill printer again. So we're going to receive more money. Now we're on 15. Yeah, 18. It's going up. Good, good, good. 22. Now obviously this is uh, will it'll change based on what they're selling as well. So they're only selling this one drug, which is not very good to remove warts. They've got pretty much the same thing on the market, and they're selling more than me. Wow, they're selling more than me. How is that? Damn it, they're selling more than me. That's a shame. But I am unchallenged in my alleviate stomach ulcers drug. Nice, 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 nice. Right, okay. So, we are making cash now, which is good. Making cash is very good. But, we need to, um, I guess continue on. Oh, that's not good. They've probably made a drug. Oh, no. They've got the, they've got another drug on the market, which is, ah, it's the Calm's acid, acid Reflux one. But mine's higher level than that, so mine's gonna, I guess. Hmm. See, the thing is, those the, the, one, the thing that they've made is quite cheap, but because I don't have any competition against it, it's not that great. Do I want to make one of them? I could make one of those drugs, but in order to do that, I need to expand my plot. I'm going to go to loans and take out a loan, and we'll buy that, and we can make more drugs. So... We'll go to our ingredients. We'll we'll shift and we'll, we'll pull an ingredient up here. So we'll pull in. Say, oh, we've got now this thing here, which is oh, it's a painkiller. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Look at that. That's um really good actually. It uh, induces nightmares high level. It causes dizziness at lower levels currently active and um, induces vomiting at lower levels, which is um, n not not great at all. However, you can remove them. You can actually remove the things. You can't remove the nightmares, but you can remove the dizziness. Now, you can see that these are actually in uh, four different slots. You can combine two drugs together or two ingredients together and what will happen is that these will overwrite. So if we combine that one and that one, for example, whatever's class is the base drug will overwrite the other. So if we say combine this one with this and this being the base, th those two would be removed. Which all that would happen is we make the same thing. However, if we did it the other way around with this being the base, the cause of dizziness would be removed in favour of Narrow's pupils and the painkiller would be removed in uh, in uh, in uh, favour of treats diabetes. So that wouldn't be a good swap, but, you know, it might be a reason to, say, uh, have a calms acid reflux, mix that with painkiller, and then you might get a better thing. So there's many reasons why you would want to do all that, but um, obviously it does, um, you know, it, it does uh, you not know, really depend on what you're trying to make. Let me just go to research because hopefully I've got a little bit more research points. I've almost got four research points. I'm going to go back to our ingredients tab. I'm actually going to... Mm, I think we're going to upgrade this, which makes it a little bit cheaper. So you have, have, having cheaper ingredients is good. I'm going to actually... Do I want to fire one of my researchers, one of my explorers? No, I don't think so. Let's go back to research. We're going to upgrade that. So we're now uh, hopefully selling more pills or selling for a higher price. Right, okay. So, what do I want to bring in? Well, this is treats diabetes. Can we narrow the pupils? We cannot. We could mix that with remove warts if we had the machine, but sadly the machine is miles away. It is that there, which is the multi-mixer, so we don't have that. Let's go for... We'll go for a diabetes medicine, okay? So we'll go for a diabetes medicine. We will bring in from this side, I think. Yeah, we'll bring it in from here. And we'll say import. Okay, and then we need to 
what do we need to do? We need to reduce its strength down by at least two. So I'm probably just going to use two dissolvers for that one. Mm, I guess we'll put one there and one there. That's simple enough. So bring them in, connect them up, bring this along. And then we'll have two pill printers. Mm, like that. And join them up. Join them up, join that up, and join that up. There we go. That should be good. Treat diabetes active. Sadly, it narrows the pupils, but we can't remove that. But this is like, a, it's just a cheaper, it's just a cheap drug. Also, uh, an epidemic of uh, high blood pressure is uh, gripping the world. Ah, so this is like a random event. Basically, it's telling us that uh, if we go for, hyper, if we get hyper, uh, um, tension medication, that's a generic diabetes reliever, we'll name that. We will actually get um, a bit of a bonus because it sells quite well. That's selling quite well. So what's our ma our profits at the moment? Uh, we're still we're still losing cash. We're still losing cash. <laughs> I've overexpanded. You see, I wanted to try and uh, blast through this research stuff to uh, hopefully show you different more things, uh, different things. I'm going to upgrade the um, evaporator and dissolver to make it um, the the process costs a little bit cheaper. Even one or two is quite good. Oh look, they've got the uh, they've got the gastro. Tinnitus? Gastroenteritis buster? Mmm, alleviates stomach ulcers. Basically the same thing that I've got. But mine's B plus grading, because mine's really, really good. Um, there's a couple of things that I haven't shown you. So, for example, each each drug has, when I mouse over it, it has a max strength. So you can see it says question mark. There's a little, it doesn't know what that is. You, can, uh, you have to fling that into a machine, which we currently haven't got. It is the analyzer there. And it will tell you its max strength. So basically, going over that is pointless. But it means that if you can't remove a downside, like a negative, you can at least make sure you can reduce your reduce it down so it's far, you know, as far away ways it is as possible to get from the max strength of it so you know make a better drug um is there anything else we really need to build i mean there's many many things we can do but basically um if one is that is the game uh, obviously we can paint the floor if we really need to so we can say oh that's actually the same tile i've got so we'll paint it with oh we can paint the belt red there you go which costs money, which I can understand painting the belt red will be a useful thing if there's like, it's a, if it's a little bit uh, complicated and you can say, I don't know, say, check and floor, all of that there. Oh, you can't click and drag. I've never actually done this, you see. Uh, you can say, look, that, 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 that's my diabetes buster there. There you go. That's my diabetes buster area. Uh, and you can sort of section the bits off. That, I guess that's what the only reason it uh, is of any use, basically, to aid um, readability. Oh, they've, they've actually got the uh, expedite uh, diabetes already. They're basically copying what I'm doing, you see. In fact, they've got more drugs than me. They're doing, they're doing much better. They're doing much better. Anyway, I think I will... Uh, I think I'll probably leave it there. I think I've shown you exactly what it's like. Uh, to summarise, I think it's great. It is a really... It's Honestly, it's a solid, solid game. I think it looks really funky. I haven't really commented on that, but yeah. It looks really fun uh, funky. It... Um, it plays very well, it runs well, it's just generally good fun. I've put about three hours into it now, and I have no intention of stopping. It's one of those games where I played it for a bit, and I thought, yep, yeah, this is good, and continue playing it, and now I'm doing this video, and I'm going to keep on playing it, because it is really, really good. Some people I've... I, I, there's only one or two people I've actually um, heard talk about it, but they've already they've said, oh, it's a bit theme hospitally. I... Don't really see where that comes from. I mean, maybe the music is a bit similar and, you know, the, the theme is, you know, sort of medical. But other than that, it, it's a completely different game. It's nothing like it. But, you know what? Whatever floats your boat. If that works for you, then fine. Either way, it seems to be a very, very good puzzle game, which I am, um, you know, I'm very hit and miss when it comes to puzzle games. I like some, I don't like others. I like the customization, I like the way you can, um, you know, if you think about it, you can change the belt and such and actually have it more efficient, things like that. I like the research, I like the fact that that's in as well. Let me upgrade that. Oh, I can't upgrade that, but I'll upgrade these ones. Um, I like I like the research. I like that you have the ingredients. I like that also that it's slightly randomised. So sometimes you will get different things. Some of the scenarios seem to be a little bit iffy. Like the the, the next scenario on, um, you have to actually uh, create a acid reflux reliever. I believe it is. But sometimes you don't start with that ingredient, so you're at an immediate disadvantage. But if you just restart the game, sometimes you might get it. So, it, you know, maybe there's a bit of um, weird balance issues there. But it is beta after all, so you're going to expect these things. But for a beta, it, it's all there. Everything you, you know, everything you want is here. So, 
yeah, this may be something for you. I, like I say, I, I think it's fantastic. A solid recommendation, no problem at all. Link's in the description, so you can check it out yourself. As I said, it is a beta, this one, but if you buy the game, you get a Steam key for the game when it's fully released, as well as access to the beta immediately. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.